This is Tim Oliver for FaceMade for Radio and Voice Made for Newsprint, and this is Click Funnels and Click Designs. And today we're going to be looking at adding a product to Click Funnels 2.0. Right now I'm in Click Funnels Classic and the original version of Click Funnels, which is still available and is used by many people. Uh, Click Funnels Classic runs on a totally different code than Click Funnels 2.0. And so it doesn't have the same features as ClickFunnels 2.0, but it does have many powerful features. And what we want to look at today is how we add products to ClickFunnels 2.0. But to understand the advantages that ClickFunnels 2.0 brings to adding products, we need to go back a step here and look at ClickFunnels Classic and see how it was originally done. This is the main panel of ClickFunnels Classic, and we're going to go ahead and open up a funnel in here and look at how the products are set up. Here we are at one of my previous certification assignments and this is a summit funnel. First thing we have to note and I can't show you this because I have click on the classic what's called maintenance mode where I can't add anything to it but but one of the things about click funnels classic was you had to get certain but one of the things about click funnels classic was you had to have certain type of elements to use where, depending on where you want a page that was an opt-in page a page with a product an oto page and that all had to do with the coding of all those elements um that's not true in click funnels 2.0 this opt-in page is we can't add products to it because it is an opt-in page however this next page the VSL plus order form we could because it's an order form and the same would be true with the upsell page as well if we look at the toolbar at the top we have a main toolbar here and then we have a sort of sub toolbar here and this is where we would put products in and so if we click on that we can see that we have two products put in here and then we could go in and edit we could delete them whatever now those products are assigned only to that funnel step. If we go to the upsell step, which is a different page, we'll also see we have products here. But we have one product. But in ClickFunnels Classic, for each step, we, need, we can only assign the products that apply to that step. But if we create another sub phone, but we were going to have the same products, we would still have to recreate and add in those individual products in at each individual step. And so it was a one-to-one -one type relationship between the products and the uh, funnel step. And so that's the way things work in ClickFunnels Classic. So with that background, let's go ahead and look at ClickFunnels 2.0 and how it's done now. All right, so here we are in ClickFunnels 2.0 and we're gonna work area where we have a webinar funnel in this case and first thing to know about this is when you create a new page in ClickFunnels 2.0 it's basically just a page I mean they do have templates you can import as pages that are for certain function but basically the coding is all included in each page that it can be whatever you want it to be so we don't have to for example download an opt-in page or we don't have to download a sales page or OTO page if we want that to be a page of a certain type and which makes it easy if we change our mind as we go along and then the other thing about ClickFunnels 2.0 is products are global in other words we don't assign them to a page or a funnel step but we uh, are going to put them into our product section and they can be used in any funnel and on any page and so they're not linked together until we link them together and so if we come down here we see we do have an order page that has a order form on it and we can see it right there now it's not filled in or anything yet that's something we're going to do in a little bit and then probably another video but we can see that it does have this little yellow triangle and so if we put our mouse cursor over it says this step expects products to be attached so it's looking for a product to go with that checkout form and that's the next step of our process we're going to add a couple of products here to add to the checkout form and so to do that we're going to need to get out of our funnel 
and go to our product section. So we want to get back to the desktop or the yeah the dashboard rather of ClickFunnels 2.0. Come to our left side toolbar and look for products, which is right there. We see that we have some products in here already. Um, and let's see how many, not too many here. Um, we'd have more if we were in my workspace with the certification project, but this is a different workspace. So we're going to start from the beginning here. And actually we do have one already set in here. So we have this one called Agency Accelerator, which is one I have created already. And so that's going to go on that page, but we're going to add another product as well. So in order to add a product, what we want to do is click on Create Product. And we're going to say this is a digital product. And we're going to give it its name. Okay, and then if we want to, we can add a description here, and we'll just put something in there real quick. And then we can also use our AI if we want to ha have some help with writing out that description, but we'll just leave that. A little simple description for right now, and then we'll click on Create Product. And then it wants us to give a price, and so we're going to make this a $47 item. And it's a one-time purchase. And we set the price. And it brings us into this panel where we can add more detail. For one thing, we can add an image, which you always want to do. And we'll put it in there. And now we have a picture to ID now we have a picture we can identify that product with. Down here, we do have the price. We can actually edit the price, and we can add a little here if we want to say normally something or whatever. We can put that in there. We can make some choices where the toxins. We can make other things we can put in here. We can check this and indicate where the product is taxable. We can add a SKU and some information related to inventory and shipping if it were a physical item. And then we have purchase actions we can add, which would be generally associated with a membership. We can indicate where there are variants. Again, that would be more likely a physical item. Um, here's the SEO and sharing. You can actually add that if you wanted to. If you have a product that you don't want your inventory, but you don't want to get rid of it. In other words, you're not selling it right now and you have a lot of products and you just want to um, say it was a Halloween only product and you want to keep the product around, but you didn't want it in your normal list of products. You could actually archive the product as well. And that will just put it in the archive where it will be there, but it won't be listed with your products you normally see. And then we have over here. We can add this to the online store. We can add it to the customer center. We can add tags and we can also put it in manual collections. And then we have some advanced settings with template redirects, um, or the pages live, not so a whole lot of things, but we really don't have to worry about too much here the way we're going to use that. We are going to be just adding this to a webinar funnel. And so we're not going to be putting this in a store or a customer center or anything like that. So once we've got everything we want in there, we just click on update product. And the product is updated. And then at that point, we can get out of here. We can go back to our funnel.
and we're going to scroll down to the page with our order form and go ahead and go into the edit mode actually I was wrong there my mistake let's go back and I always like to show my mistakes because it shows that even I am not perfect and if more than one way to skin the cat with quick funnels so what we want to do here is go ahead and click on this it will bring up this panel and will allow us to add a product so first of all we're going to add this agency accelerator product and you can see it's there now but we're also going to add that other product and so now we have two products that have been attached now what I want to do is make this lower price product an order bomb and so what we can do is we can actually drag this into the order bump section and now we have a main product and we have a product that's going to be an order bump and that's going to be reflected on our checkout form now the checkout form right now has not been customized or anything so it's kind of needs a lot of work but it, we will have our products there you also see that where that yellow triangle is we now have a what looked like a suitcase we mouse over there it will tell us what products are included in that and that tells us that that we have products attached to this funnel step so let's now go and X this out and let's go into edit mode and let's go ahead and click the hamburger icon to get everything out of the way all right so now we have our check out and we would have to fill out information here to make that happen so we'll go ahead and click that where it brings up our settings panel for our checkout and here's where we can adjust everything and I'm probably going to go more into this later on and you see there's our agency accelerator product under product select and then under the order bump there is our TikTok domination product now as I said I'm going to probably in a different video go to customizing the order form but I just want you to see that once we place those products in this step that they show up in your checkout form assuming that you already have a checkout form there which would almost you'd almost have to, to add products and so that is really going to be it for adding products right now and you see it even put in our little order bump box there now to get the rest of it show up we would have to go ahead and get here we can see we've got the agency accelerator there but as I said this checkout form needs some customization let's go ahead and save and just see what it looks like right now So right now it doesn't look too bad I mean we could use the defaults in the order form but I think I'd probably like to jazz it up a little bit and make sure the look is something I want it's going to be appealing to people that are buying the product but it is functional right now I can actually order this product of course I'm in test mode but I could actually order the product but I think that we would want to spend a little more time on the checkout form and so that will probably be a future video and, and my name is Tim Willis I'm a certified ClickFunnels professional and I also make tutorial and demonstration videos that are about ClickFunnels, Click Designs and other useful tools for funnel hacking and funnel hackers and that's the video for tonight and I will talk to you later